Thank you very much. Yes, some of us may die, but our children will now know that these are not people to, to depend on. Love him or hate him, you gotta admit, President Museveni of Uganda is hilarious. He is just so funny without even intending to be funny. Like, that's, that's my opinion on him. And also, as he's getting older, I feel like he is giving no Fs anymore and he just says it as he sees it and it's quite entertaining to watch I'll be honest but this is so funny I'm gonna need you to watch this clip not just because it's funny but because the content of what he's saying is valuable watch this clip we'll come back the the foreigners have failed the test the foreigners, professor from Germany, I'm telling you that the foreigners have failed two tests according to my assessment. Number one, they have failed my tribal test. Because in my tribe, there is no way you can say that because I have a problem. I don't care about my brother who also have the same problem. No way. In my tribe, it can never happen. Yes, I have a problem. But if my brother has, has a problem, I will share the ritual I have with him to solve my problem, but also address his. This is my tribal code. And this was tested when the, when the corona was starting. Because here in East Africa, we had the problem of sanitizers. Ugandans drink a certain strong gene from bananas called waraji. It's a strong gene. They normally poison themselves with it. And they, they, they like it. it but that gene, if you distill it more, it produces a very good sanitizer. So when the, when, the, when the crisis started, only Uganda was producing sanitizers in East Africa. So some of my people said, we should not exp allow East Africa to, buy, to, to import the sanitizer because we need it. I said, no. In my tribe, that's not allowed. What you should do, you can say you keep like 40% for yourselves, but let the 60% be shared by the East Africans. That was my tribal, my tribal constitution. I cannot, so the foreigners have failed. Zero, zero marks on the tribal, on my tribal code. But they have also failed on the Christian, Christian, you remember, I, I, had, I had a rumor that there were Christians in the world. That's what we hear. We hear that there are Christians in America, there are Christians in Europe, there are Christians. Uh, these people have failed on the Christian test. So, uh, so we are, we are going to, to look for the vaccine for the short run, but also they have failed on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the test of strategy because we now know that they don't care about us. Thank you very much. Yes, some of us may die, but our children will now know that these are not people to, to depend on. He said, thank you very much. That, like, I legit laughed. Not just at that uh, point, but also when he was saying zero marks. The foreigners got zero marks. Basically, um, as you heard, he was saying that um, foreign countries failed three tests, according to him. One was 
they failed his tribal test of sharing you know how we were told sharing is caring they have failed on that secondly he believes they failed on religious aspect of things which because he said they say that they're christians but they don't hold the value of christianity and thirdly he said they failed strategically which i think is the strongest point he made because he said even though we might die our children will know not to trust you and not to depend on you that is i think the best point he made because we learned the hard way that no one cares about us but it's a good thing to know and learn that will help us to work better that will help us to improve ourselves by ourselves not to depend on anyone not to beg anyone not to depend on somebody's aid somebody's funding and he was right by the way this video i believe um this speech was like way way back because i'm noticing the audiences are wearing masks and you know when we were forced to wear masks it was like a long time ago nowadays no one wears masks so i'm assuming this was during the you know covid situation time and also the point he was making was about covid and how the whole world shut down and nobody cared about supporting africa even though uh, it was feared that we're gonna have it worse which i always tell you we're god's favorite like we as a whole continent lost less people than let's say america on its own or britain on its own so yeah that's that's what you get for being god's favorite i guess um it doesn't matter who's against you right so he made good points as i said as much as you know and he predicted it like he was saying we won't depend on you and look at what world bank just did we talked about it last week they suspended uh, uganda's funding because they didn't agree with museveni and the uganda parliament for their new lgbtq law right that's what happened so it's a clear indication of you should never ever depend on them because they have shown us time and time again that they're for themselves if anything they will do whatever it takes to make sure that they get what they need to like what whatever they they may they may need to do right so with that being said it's a good learning i agree with museveni fully that we've learned our lesson and as he said um our children now know better and i feel like most people now are waking up and we're understanding that we have to change our situation by ourselves by coming together and as as he said the covid time really taught us how to be independent by making our own masks ma making our own sanitizers making our own medication so you know it's bittersweet unfortunately a lot of people had to lose their lives for us to understand this about this nations and we know better now fool me once shame on you fool me twice <laughs> shame on me so yeah that's my takeaway from museveni's speech but i want to hear from you what your thoughts are about what he said down below i am ongil zalalem i'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye